Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're going to be starting an Eden run today. And we have gotten White Feather, $3 bill. We've replaced White Feather. We got a Tears upgrade. I hope we don't die on our way out of here. Three, oh god, $3 bill is really good. Um, in most situations. Can be a little dangerous as well. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. I lived, okay. Now we'll take our eternal heart, and I don't really know what kind of world we're in right now, but um, that's okay. We can live with it. Balls of Steel has just saved us. Okay, we'll probably win the run now. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, I'm a little surprised that it worked out as easily as it had there. I'm joking when I say we'll probably win the run. I'm being a little cocky, uh, in spite of the fact that I've played pretty poorly lately. But uh, you know, I think it's a little bit of pre-afterbirth kind of. Not jitters, really, but just like things are going to change soon. There's, there's a dampening pulse in the air. We got uh, four cents. Could try to buy another spirit heart from our shop. Would it work? I don't know. I just don't know. Right now, we don't have any bombs to swing it either. Well, now we have two bombs, but I think I'll probably just go ahead and finish this floor. Widow will die relatively easily. It would be awesome to pick up some DPS here. Don't think we need the HP that much, mostly because we don't know what our HP is at, but we know we have at least two spirit hearts, which is enough to keep us going to the next floor. And we will also have, um, we'll also have the eternal heart maturing, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, metamorphosizing, metamorphing, I don't know, into a, uh, a full red heart container. So all we really need to do is pick up more HP, was not what I was going to say there, but hey, down to the next floor, awesome. Might be able to swing three plays of the uh, of the prayer card here. I'm a little skeptical, but that's a really early one, obviously. Death's Touch for this room is awesome. And if we can get Small Rock here, that would be great. Two Spirit Hearts, also pretty good. Uh, we have a... Whoa, another Spirit Heart just randomly from the poop. We have um, enough money to buy a Battery Charge, which might facilitate our... Uh, our two red hard ups on this floor. We will go back for that, because uh, if I don't go back for it immediately, I will forget, thanks to the fact that we have Curse of the Lost. And, of course, my own memory. That heart is stuck in the wall. Uh, I feel for you. That's happened to a couple of our uh, doctors in Prison Architect, and I've had to demolish the wall to free them. Happens to the best of us. Literally. In video games, at least. Um... More money. There was no battery charge on our shop, which I, I, I haven't talked about, but I'm disappointed by the fact that they're, that's not going to work out for us, but that's okay. Let's see what we got in our deal with the devil. We got more than enough HP and probably more than enough damage to take care of this easily as well. We got proptosis for this room, so I don't mind getting right up in Monstro's face. I would prefer if he would die and give us the chance to get something like Death's Touch permanently from a deal with the devil, but we're about to find out. Magic mushroom, magic mushroom, magic mushroom. Mag book my they might have uh, confused what I was saying there that's okay it happens from time to time mom's knife for two yeah okay we'll take this <laughs> uh, now we probably have genuinely won the run without being overly cocky we have mom's knife and uh, it's yellow now no we have mom's knife and it's uh, it's not going to be with the requisite Mom's Knife problem, which most of the time you're like, I got Mom's Knife, but I can't get hit or I'll die. Um, we have Mom's Knife and 8 HP on the second floor. It's uh, a, an above average situation for any run to experience. Much easier to crack the poop this way, even if it didn't work out that well. Um, and do we have any damage ups? Not yet, but that's also A-OK. -okay. We're going to be looking for our item room, not sweating the shop too much, just looking for our item room, getting the heck out of here. Absolutely, we'll crack open that. That's probably going to give us enough money to get something from the shop, should we actually want maybe the Steam Sale, which we could uh, get and facilitate and have a good time with now. Two extra bombs on top of that as well. And we can basically do this melee style here. And we are going to get three charges, I think. It's, oh, maybe not. Every time, it's like we're only two rooms away from having three charges, but we might not get to it. We'll find out. Uh, 18 cents, though, does allow us to buy the Steam Sale and, and possibly something else as well. We just need one more room of combat. And we're definitely going to get it. This is a big floor, actually. Lucky uh, swing for me there. And we just barely managed to make it work, but it looks like we will make it work. And here we get Notched Axe. 
Ugh. I mean, technically, we should use it on this very room right here. Break open some pots, get some money, but... Not only am I lazy, but my character is rich, and we're kind of like... Why do we care? <laughs> At this point, like, we, we're gonna get the Steam sale as well. It's like, everything is working against making me care about this situation. Um, we will probably try to get Mom's purse here. It's a very easy pickup. And then we'll just head down to the next floor, and I would expect this one to be going real fast. I tried to snap. I can't... Anyone else out there can't snap? You know, when you snap your fingers, that is. I can sort of do it, but it's more like just a finger clap. It doesn't really work. I can blow bubbles, I can whistle, um... I can, I can bend over and touch my toes, even though it makes my hamstrings feel funny. Um, but I, I just cannot, for whatever reason, snap my fingers. Maybe I too low of a pain threshold or something. When I try to do the snapping motion people tell me to do, I'm like, it hurts. I could never fit it in a poetry slam. For a variety of reasons, probably, but that's the lack of snapping is definitely one of them. I'd be the guy like, why can't we just clap? Everybody knows how to clap. You just don't get it. Man. I don't even know where I was going with that one. I have been to a poetry reading once. It was very... Uh, it, it, when I... You know, college is where you find yourself. I didn't read any poetry at the Poetry Slam. But I was like, hey, I'll go to a Poetry Slam. Because I'm like, I'm interested in the arts and stuff like that. And then there was like a... And this is not to shame anybody. But it was uncomfortable for my 17-year-old uh, senses at the time. Was an older woman read a, uh, a very sexually explicit poem about her own masturbation. That was also just really bad. Which is fine, you know, po poetry and art, is, it's about expression. And I, I didn't, you know, go like, boo, get off the stage or anything like that. But I was like, I shouldn't be here. This is not for me. Um, and... I hope she's doing well. That's that's the end of that story. I hope she's okay. Because the poem did call some of her well-being into question. But I don't remember uh, basically any of it. I just remember how I felt when my life ended. Um, let's see what we got here. Tears upgrade is pretty... I love how just giving the thumbs up while pointing the knife in the other direction. Like, don't worry. I got this. See, he's dead. Um, that was, that was funny. I like that. I didn't mean to play that, but I, I, mean, I probably should have just taken out those poops before anything got dangerous here. Yeah, good walk. Yeah, nice damage there. Thank God we got the onk. It turns out I might actually need it, because I'm bad. Tears down. It's not really that big of a problem. We recently had a tears upgrade, and, um, beyond that... Tears, not as much of an impactful stat when you're talking about Mom's Knife. It helps. It's nice to have it, but it's not uh, the be-all, end-all the way it is with a lot of other setups. This could be a second secret room. It is not, but our golden chest gives us the Magician, which, weirdly enough, doesn't help us right now, but now helps us. Thanks to the $3 bill, we had the Magician uh, effect temporarily. Another deal with the Devil on Catacombs 1. This time provides us with Contract from Below. Another HP coming on the next floor. So basically, you know, a uh, prayer card gave us a free contract from below that floor. That's the way I'm going to choose to conceptualize it, and I'm pretty happy with it. Unfortunately, that extra HP is going to make it uh, impossible for me to get in this boss trap room. But what am I What am I looking for? Guppy? Nah, probably something more along the lines of Mark, Pact, etc., etc. Anything that can up our damage at this point. For regular rooms, it's not going to matter. Every enemy will die in in one like two pronged hit with uh, Mom's knife, like on the on the back and out. Uh, but uh, for bosses, it will matter. That was a great shot. You know what? Good quick release. Didn't see it coming. You you Ovechkin me. He Ovechkin me straight up. Pay him. Pay that man his money. One day John Malkovich is going to fucking sue my ass. And it's going to be the ultimate betrayal a bald brother could render onto another one. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Freezing an enemy with high mobility that's a fucking asshole like Boney is, is, uh, makes my life a lot better. We're basically done with this floor. That was a weird freezing there. I'm not sure if anybody saw that. It looked like my game froze temporarily, which has been happening. Oh, it, it kind of did it again. I'm a little freaked out. Bogo Bombs. Convoida. We'll use Converter once. 
and then buy this and it's if it's weird i don't know if this is good but we got extra hp out of it anyway and it doesn't matter is this curse of the maze it's curse of the blind what's going on with our room transitions man my isaac games are cursed no matter what computer i play them on no deal with the devil this time we get old bandage we picked up like four hp on that floor maybe yeah four hp i think that's a little ridiculous we're on necropolis one with nine minutes elapsed on the run uh it's not really bragging i understand most people would rather see due diligence it's more just a product of um of how much damage we're doing but of course this is not like absurd good damage or anything like that it's not like oh i've never thought of this combo before this is like mom's knife by itself <laughs> it's pretty good you're probably already aware of that though uh Probably should just start looking for um, teleport cards at this point. We're not really uh, interested in taking the magician down to the 10th floor, which is why I just used it right there. Anytime we get the opportunity to blow up two or more skulls, we'll do it and we'll get probably increasingly desperate as the floor goes on. Getting one early would be nice to save us some bombs in the long run. Well, that's probably our second secret room, and we probably got a good chance at a deal with the devil here. That's an HP upgrade for us, and two of spades. Also really good, but uh, not the teleportation card I wanted, but it is like we just picked up five keys for the cost of a bomb, so I'll consider it pretty solid. Not gonna sweat this fact that our speed caused us to take damage there. Shit happens. Uh, mostly I'm stoked that we got awesome damage. So we'll take safety pin for some extra shot speed, and then here I'm like, well, I guess we take everything, right? We take... Uh, Brother Bobby and Guppy's hairball because we're going to take nine lives. So the other items are basically free. And now we have become Guppy. Uh, we can fly. That's going to really help out our maneuverability. We're not going to be generating too many flies thanks to the knife. But it's still worth having. Sometimes, you know, I pick up Guppy and people go, Ha ha, Guppy doesn't work that well with mom's knife, you fucker. And I'm like, what's... <laughs> I'm going to win. I, have a one... yeah, I had a 100% chance to win. And we turned it into a 100% chance to win. Like, I'm not... You, you didn't get one over on me. I'm stoked to have become Guppy, if only for the passive ability to fly. Ability to fly. The shears are cool, but uh, we probably do use the shears a little bit more often than prayer cards. So let's mix it up ever so slightly. Uh, still haven't found our item room. That's not that good. Hermit is our teleport card, though. We really should have used two of spades earlier, but... That's... Oh, I pressed the button by accident. <laughs> Woo! Well, we got two of clubs. We got a devil card. I got the combination two of clubs and devil card. Uh, that was obviously my mistake to an enormous degree. Things are starting to come off the rails a little bit. Mostly just a result of poor play. I bought the battery charge to try to give us a better chance of getting a teleport card for three cents. But uh, maybe should have saved it. What's this pill? You better not be telepills. Um, mystery sack. It's 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 fine. I mean, I wish it was better than fine, but it's fine. Um, we'll go to our boss fight. We're definitely gonna have a chance to do boss rush. We could do what we've done in the past and just die, like on that soy milk run, just die on boss rush and then roll with the punches, you know? Respawn elsewhere and be be okay with it. But uh, instead, we're just gonna head down to the next floor. See what kind of Awesome stuff we can get up to down here. And if we have to, you know, sort out this boss rush stuff, we have to sort out this boss rush stuff. If it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Are you a wizard is not good enough, but it also doesn't affect mom's knife, so don't have to sweat it too much. We should pick up that money. Otherwise, what's the whole John Malkovich quote for? That's what the entire reason it's in the wheelhouse. Mom's eye is exclusively good or interesting with mom's knife and mom's knife based accessories. It actually looks kind of cool like this. I'll say it. I'm not afraid. Makes melee a little easier as well. Uh, we'll take champion belt. We'll take the spirit heart. Not going to donate anything. We'll just take our money and run. Uh, champion belt. Of course, we just took it for the extra damage. I don't care about fighting more champions. Uh, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Doesn't matter. Now, we haven't used an eternal heart yet. So, we should come in here. And we have old bandage, so I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more out of that there. Let's play this judgment. We don't need our money for anything else. In fact, we can even blow up this guy right here. Half red heart could be valuable. 
Thieves lipstick. Not not too interested, but there we just got an old bandage payout. Missing page. Not not too interested again. Uh, my apologies for you know you haven't really offered me a product I'm that interested in yet. It's all right. We got a little more life here with which to make some plays and that time we did get something we wanted growth hormones for the extra speed in particular but damage also always nice but we are in the market for um some extra speed here and i'm not talking about cruise control baby let's uh see if we can get a teleporter oh this is a chance that is the exact same card <laughs> Uh, and it's also, it's good enough to be worth holding. This room's just bad enough to not be worth using it on, though. The Fool, there we go. That's, that's what we're gonna want here. Aptly named. Um, don't want that just yet, because I could go back to that, uh, mob trap room there. That was the best shot I've ever done with Mom's Knife. Emperor card. Also great. We're gonna want to take that after we, after we use the Fool card. And then that makes our cathedral probably very easy, or maybe even before the cathedral if we choose to pop it as such. The other thing we could do is just go into the boss trap room and then use the fool card and then use the emperor card thereafter. But I think it's a less advantageous outcome. Always, always, always forget that these guys don't spawn with the ability to take damage. That is a lot of keys. I'm excited about that. I feel like we've had a lot of runs lately that have been largely bereft of keys. This is not going to be one of them. Alrighty. Mom fight. We got the fool card. We're almost done. <laughs> We're now done. No deal with the devil. Take the Polaroid. Sneak in here. And, yeah, probably Holy Mantle, huh? That's a pretty good one, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's come back in here. We get the devil card. We could pop it on this room if we're going to fight. But you know what? We're not going to fight. But we might as well pop it anyway. At some point, because... We're going to be uh, taking the Emperor card down with us. There's no need to pop it. I guess we're not going to fight anything. That's ridiculous. Um, okay. Well, let's uh, waste a key. That's a sacrifice we always give to the key gods just to say thank you for providing your bounty for us this harvest. And then we head down to the next floor. And we'll uh, we'll see what we encounter here. Womb one with Mom's Knife. No Curse of the Lost. This to me says don't use Emperor. Instead, we'll just hold on to it for now, and in the future, it'll be worth it for us. This is just a... I mean, as soon as you get Mom's Knife, the run becomes unassailable. It's almost impossible to lose. Then, throw in the fact that we got a lot of uh, Red Hearts and Spirit Hearts from Prayer Card and just other various outlets, and... Um, like, this, this run has been baby's first rebirth run especially now with holy mantle it was a little bit of an advanced or at least intermediate level technique to get holy mantle in the first place by managing to teleport out of our boss rush room but um you know this this is the run that you give someone with that seed their first run in rebirth and just go you know what figure it the fuck out although i guess as eden they wouldn't have eden unlocked for their first run but you know it's an early run let's put it that way just terrible damage there's no need for that i'm trying to get fancy needlessly fancy with um, mom's knife and mom's eye here it's not necessary but we can get a little aggressive because uh, we have uh, I can't believe we didn't get hit there <laughs> we've, we've reversed direction for one of those enemies I didn't even know that was possible but um, we can get a little extra aggressive because of the fact that we have holy mantle don't do that don't don't be me play better I have been playing like shit today I mean, we're still having relative levels of success, but I'm just uh, I'm disappointed in myself. Could Should be playing better than this, so there's a trinket in here. Eh, not good enough. I haven't used Mom's Eye. Or, sorry, uh, Mom's... Let's check here for a sec. I haven't used uh, Mom's Toe in forever. I think it, like, betrayed me once, and I was like, alright, I'll give it another chance. Then it betrayed me a second time, and I was like, you're fucking done. I'm never, you'll never work in this town again, Mom's Toe. And by betray me, I mean it, it hit me. And that wheel we hurt. Uh, Northern Lamb, is that a reference to a uh, very popular YouTube uh, video, Charlie Bit My Finger? It was indeed. Uh, most people don't know this. Charlie is now head of uh, gaming partnerships at YouTube. That's not actually true. That would, be, that would be pretty sweet, though. He's still only like 11 or something. Not the real head of YouTube gaming partnerships, the uh, Charlie Be My Finger Child. 
One more room, we would have gotten HP, but it doesn't... Let's... Come on. It doesn't matter. We will reroll our whole run if they ask us to. This run is a gift, and the only way to appreciate that gift is to put it in jeopardy. That's why I always light uh, Christmas presents on fire before giving them to someone. I want to see what they truly value in life. Is it the gift? Is it the? Is it really the thought that counts? I don't actually do that. That would that would be indicative of I think um, some serious traits of the mentally disturbed. Probably would like to speak to somebody or perhaps get some kind of uh, you know neurological pharmaceutical help. Shouldn't be starting fires in general. Fire fire is meant to be used for you know good purposes and then feared. There's always some kids in school who would like. Crack a lighter on the school bus and then be like, check it out, fire, check it out, fire. I'm the best, I'm the best, man. You're not the best. Put the fire away. You're making people uncomfortable. Any any lady that wants to sleep with you more because you're not afraid of fire is not a lady you want to sleep with. Because she's not afraid of playing with fire either. Okay? You gotta you gotta have standards for yourself. Put the fire away. Fire's the I mean, fire is cool in a scientific sense. It's not cool in a social context. I don't know why it feels like when I use an item, it takes longer than usual for the screen to display it properly now. Come on, dog. Oh! I mean, there's batteries around, but like... I'm at full HP anyway. We got an Emperor card coming up next. People are so concerned with being cool, man. I mean, I was there. I, it, it is weird, because people, some people don't grow out of it. For some people, that becomes, like, their whole life. Like, I knew, I still know them, but I was, like, acquainted with people. Um, when I was teaching overseas, they were, like, in their 40s. Still trying to be cool in, like, a 26-year-old or a, an 18-year-old even context. And at some point, you just kind of look at that and you go, ah, come on, man. You know, the, as an adult, maybe I'm being uncool by saying this. Uh, the coolest thing, I, when I meet a person and I'm like, I know this person's cool or I think this person's cool, is because they're like unabashedly pursuing their own interests. Um, and their interests are like genuine. This sounds like a little rude the way I put it. But what I mean is like, if somebody's like, yeah, man, like I'm super into fucking gardening. Like every weekend I just look forward to going home and like nurturing my tomato plants and shit like that. I'm like, you and I... I think you're cool. We probably wouldn't get along, because I don't know fuck all about gardening, and I hate being outside. But you sound like a cool person who's got their head screwed on straight. But, we know, you know, people who are very preoccupied with what other people think, that's like... It's like, um... You know, the the, the harder you try for it, the, the worse it is. You know, people who are very concerned about looking cool, that's not cool, because it's all, like, extrinsically motivated. It's like, I'm gonna get into things that make me cool. Nah, you're cool because you're into the things you like, and you're, you're true to your own passions, man. And unfortunately, that's not how it works in high school, or probably college, for that matter, but I, I ran with a similar crew in college. Maybe I was lucky. Um, man, really, all we're gonna want here is super bandage. The rest is kind of... Hot garbage. Uh, I mean, the quarter, I'm just keeping there in case a Perthrow rune shows up, because it really doesn't provide us with any benefit. Everything else is just not even worth taking at all. Um, but yeah, that's, let me, you know, whatever you're into, as long as you're into it, that's cool. You know, you're into things for a reason. I'm not into League of Legends, but if you're like super fucking into League of Legends, I think that can be cool. If you're into fucking, you know, knitting, that's awesome. You're making shit. You know how few people do that? I can't make anything. I can make a sandwich. That's about it. If you're Speaking of which, if you're really into cooking, that's cool, man. Or lady, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you're actually passionate about it. What is super uncool is being like, hey, this is what I'm passionate about, but I'm going to do something else because what I'm passionate about is not cool. Now, the caveat to that is you should have an employable skill as well. <laughs> What's really cool is, is paying your bills, kids. That's the coolest thing. A Mr. T is here to tell you to pay your bills. There's nothing cooler than that. Hey, this is Andre 3000. What's cooler than being cool? Paying your societal debts. But no, sincerely. And once that happens, do whatever you want, man. As long as it's not harming other people. Like, I'm pretty sure our neighbor is, like, super into smoking weed and playing loud music at 3 a.m. That's not cool. You're, you're, you're a hamper on the people around you at that point. It's not the weed. It's the fact that the weed makes him, uh want to play his music really loudly at 3 a.m. I'm not gonna blame the the plant for that. Could just as easily be alcohol or 
you know, THC or anything, but, uh... And I said THC as if... What I meant to say was PCP. But uh, instead, I made myself look like a 95-year-old grandpa. I don't, I don't know if he's on the pot or the, the marijuana leaves, or the PCT, or the THC, or the PYT pretty young thing. I, I don't know if he's on A&E, or TLC, or the H, H2 channel. Could be on TSN or SNP. Anyway. That's it. Follow your, follow your dreams, as long as your dreams don't like lead you to be an asshole to other people. That's like step one. After that, anything's it's all hunky dory, man. It cuts both ways. If your hobby is like mowing your lawn at 5:30 in the morning next to your neighbor's windows, that's fucked up too. You know, don't do that. That's very inconsiderate. Especially if it's like a no. It's always inconsiderate. I was gonna say especially if it's a weekend, but no. Like that's just always a no-no. And this run is just already over. I'm leaving the timer up because I like you know for my own purposes I like to see how long runs like this can take. Looks like this one's going to be sub-25, maybe slightly faster, but there was really never any danger at all of this one not working out. This is dangerous, but again, like, we're, it's dangerous, but we're not in danger. Hey, Sacrificial Dagger is pretty good. We probably should use Book of Secrets, but uh, that's a second and a half that I don't have time for, because I already figured out that I was on the right path. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. Hanged Man. Pretty uh, important card for us right now. We're just going to get right up in there. We're going to be ultimate lazy right now. And there you go. We're done. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.